So, hi you guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. I am in a different setup today. If you've seen my recent vlog, you will know that I took a trip to Connecticut to go with their shopping. I bought so much things. I went to Goodwill today. I actually came over here because I knew this whole hotel was close to a Goodwill outlet. I came into Connecticut and I went straight to the Goodwill outlet. After the Goodwill outlet, I went to get food. As I was going to get food, I I passed another Goodwill that's like super duper duper close to here like walking distance even better I was like okay I'm gonna go to that Goodwill tomorrow and today is tomorrow I'm gonna show you the stuff that I bought today let's get started if you like these kind of videos be sure to give this video <laughs> how many times I'm gonna say video oh my gosh if you like this type of content be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below Okay, this is one of the first pieces I actually picked up. I love the color. It is this lace accordion pleated top from Zara. No flaws, size small. I might not show you every single label because it's just a lot of stuff. Bought this for $3.99. These aren't Ben's prices, but they are still cheaper than it is in New York in like a regular Goodwill, so yeah so the next thing i found is elizabeth and jane's slip skirt it has like seams right here which i think really add to the slip type look it's just really cute it's like this like stretchy material i like this a lot and it seems like these go for like 30. most of the items here that i picked up they will be selling for like about 30. and i paid how much did i pay for this seven dollars 6.99 i found some ivy park leggings i've seen ivy park before i never picked it up so it just has the ivy park logo on the inside bands there are girls you know when they put on the sweatpants they like fold it over are you one of those girls that like fold over your sweatpants when you wear them i'm not and i've tried it i don't really like it but that's just me right now you know opinions change ivy park leggings these go for i saw about 25 dollars a shipping so not so bad and i paid six dollars for this next i got this Deletta top it's like kind of silky at the front and then has a cotton panel at the back front and then it has like this like kind of poof thing what the, what is this called if you know what it's called tell me what what is that called so i think that's anthropology right i think so next thing i got i think is pretty good because bowden sells really well sells pretty fast and it sells for like about 30 up 30 to 35 ish that i've seen i think 30 up for sure and i paid only seven dollars for this one it's just this velvety feel skirt and it just has these circles on it and it's gray and black that's cute and it has these two pockets in the back and it is an 8L. I noticed that there was a lot of bigger size. I also saw a lot of LuLaRoe and I did see a thrifter who buys LuLaRoe but I don't I don't think I could buy that and profit off of it. I don't think the profit would be worth it. There was so much though. It was like a quarter of a rack. Okay so now I have this free people's top. This one was a little bit more pricey. Well I mean for the top it was seven dollars but i thought because it is free people and it is that signature free people look with the oversized and the embroidery and it's kind of like a nice top i decided to get it so it has like this embroidery in the back and also on the shoulders and then it's just like this button down like high low and the sleeves are cute you guys if you watch these videos you know i like love the cute sleeves super cute and it is a size small this is so nice Oh, it's a size small. Oh my gosh, you could wear this a dress. It would be such a cute dress. Maybe I'll end up wearing this. That's one bag. So like this is dress. I know you guys seen me run into this brand before at Goodwill Bins in New York. I did find one Velvet Graham Spencer jacket, which I did buy. The rest of them I didn't take because they were just regular Graham Spencer. And when you search, the search results only come up with Velvet Graham Spencer. But this is just Graham Spencer, so I have no idea what the market is because I can only find Velvet bit Graham Spencer but I'm gonna probably price it for the same price as the Velvet line and of course accept offers the brand is known so it shouldn't be like a stretch you know a crazy stretch but I was insistent on getting this one because it was just this dress is really nice I don't know if it will sell during the summer months because it does have like this like wool top and then it's different at the bottom but it has this wool part at the top 
so i'm figuring that this probably won't sell in the summer but it might sell in like the end of summer or fall type thing so it looks like it has like this wool feel top part and then on the bottom it's like this like metallic like ruffle hem and then it also has like a uh, bow tie in the back which is just like a ribbed cotton bow for him Spencer I paid $7.99 for this I would wear this if it was smaller with like a turtleneck super cute um so next up I got this little t-shirt from Everlane I've sold a couple Everlane t-shirts so it's cool and no defects I think I sold an Everlane t-shirt with um defects literally like last week this was only 4.99 i'm pretty sure this will go for like maybe like 20. yeah it's a size medium it's just this like ruffle neck ruffle sleeve ruffle hem dress from zara super duper cute i am in love with this this will be so nice for like a fall party i don't think you can wear it in the summer because it's a heavy cotton material but this is from zara woman again didn't find much zara honestly compared to like what i would find in new york i feel like i appreciate goodwill bins in new york so much more after this i have this cotton at leather dress i wasn't so sure about this because it looks so plain but it's a size small and these type of dresses actually like sell pretty well i thought it would it just look kind of like i don't know like um not aletha ish but the material is really nice and thick they do have a market so definitely going to be selling them i know what you guys are thinking when you see this but there were definitely some other dresses like that on there and they were going for like 30 and i paid 5.99 for this so right next up i did find a few torrid items torrid is a brand for me that has decent profit but it goes extremely fast so i got this pink button front spaghetti strap dress it's actually kind of cute you know like this is such a nice like kind of like picnic dress and it has like polka dots this is a size four so that was bag number one now let's get into bag number two so the first item another torrid item i got it in the dress section but this is a size one it's just a sheer leopard print tank top that has this like drape sides i bought this for $6.99 um we have another little sheer top this one is from theory it's like this like little floral tank top it's gray this, this i feel like this is so tacky can my shirt stay down like next up i have an oscar de la renta skirt it just, it just looks like this and it has like a kind of like ruffle type hem and some embroidery i think this is really pretty and it is a for a size 10 petite petite you can have so many looks with this skirt like wear it with like some low sandals slow heel sandals and like the white crop top for usually when i get oscar de la Renta skirts like this i feel like they're more for like older women but this one i feel like a younger girl can really really pull off the only thing is oscar de la Renta doesn't sell well for me every time i ever picked up an oscar de la Renta skirt they have not sold none of them have sold yet but i keep picking them up because i know oscar de la Renta is a good brand i even found this really really cute like 70s type shift dress that i'm I'm pretty sure I showed in the haul. It was so pretty. It was just like super nice color green and it still hasn't sold yet. But the thing is, I know that Oscar de la Renta, there are some items that go for really low and some that go for really high. And I cannot tell you why. I was thinking in the thrift store today, I should probably like search that up. But um, I always pick up Oscar de la Renta anyway. But I do know it's a good brand. So it confuses me. If anything else, if anything, I could just like maybe send them to thread up and let them like authenticate and price them. That would get my foot in the door using thread up as well, since I don't really use thread up at the moment. I paid six dollars for this skirt. If you're size 10 and you're watching this, get this skirt because it's super duper cute. Okay, so we have another sheer tank top with um animal print this one is cheetah print and it has this like pocket zip right there this is from top shop top shop shirts sure, go for about 30 so you see that that's my little bread and butter and it's like scars over here this one i got for four dollars there's a thing with zara that up i mean that up zara asos um top shop all their items value about the same price range so you don't have to spend much time pricing them and you don't have to spend much time searching for them especially i mean at least where i live 
you know you don't gotta spend as much time searching for them so they're just like such like great value this is a row and day like little tank top i coincidentally put my arms in it like this to show you guys and i think it shows it absolutely perfectly it's a little anthropology and i paid $6.99 for this one so next up we have a three people maxi skirt i wasn't gonna get this at first how much is this this is six dollars i wasn't gonna get it at first because like the material i really like it it's kind of it kind of just looks like cheap but also it's like also really pretty and it'll be like good for like vacation and like a beach thing just like this maxi skirt with this slit and it has this bodycon shirt layer underneath and i feel like the color is beautiful i'm like who doesn't want to wear an all red fit so i'm like there yeah, this will probably sell some girl that's like thinking about all red fit this is a size small and that girl that wears all red might even be me another free people skirt and i feel like it gives off the same vibe as the one before so this one is a size medium again very summery because of the colors it's like red and orange and i think you could do the same thing as like with this one and make a real simple outfit probably just pair this one with like a black top since it's like predominantly black but yeah super cute also 5.99 so two free people skirts i was really unsure if i wanted to get this one because of the color it's a pretty color though but like i just don't know if it's gonna be a popular color so it's just this torrid again light cardigan with like the drape sides really good condition I have some more torrid actually i told you guys i found a few torrid items this is like knit t-shirt this crisscross with the neckline just like a real casual top bought this one for 6.99 i found this which i think is this might be the best thing in this haul i got this max mara suede skirt probably like wear some i don't know maybe some like knee high or thigh high like boots high heel boots and maybe like a white top or if it's like winter you might want to wear like a beige turtleneck not beige but like a light brownish type turtleneck that would be super cute fit is a size six in us and it's 100 percent cotton i think this is gonna go fast because it's actually really cute and it's a neutral so it's gonna be pretty easy to style and i think that like boots and turtleneck look would be super cute it might just not sell right now probably like in the fall winter time okay so i got a few of this brand um i got three items that were this brand one of them two of them i think i'm gonna pair as like a set i've never seen this brand before but um i searched it up and the sales range seemed pretty good so it's this brand called Ansel. Never heard of it. This is a size small. It seems like a very like hippy dippy type oversized type clothes look. So it's just like this oversized dress. High low at the bottom. It's super duper duper long. I like the look of it. I think stuff like this would look really cute with like white sneakers and just like have an oversized like look. I got this in green and I also got one in red so this is what the red one looks like the exact same style just two different colors tell me in the comments below which one you like better whether it's the red or the green i think the red will definitely sell in the summer and the green one might sell like august or like later summer i think this is still good for like the fall time grew in the fall with a jacket it'll be really good because it has long sleeves it's a little bit of a little bit of extra warmth or whatever is this the last item Yes, this is the last item. I actually got a few other trinkets I'm gonna show you guys. That's just not for reselling. And I'm not gonna put them in any other box. I'm just gonna show you. But the next thing and last thing I got is this L.O. Bean skirt. I've seen a couple of the same ones going for, I think, about 20 almost $30. So I thought I would get it. Like, I've seen a couple of these going. This, like, almost exact same style. So I bought this for $6.99. So I did get a few other pieces. I got... I mean not pieces but just like things at the thrift store I got this roll of lint a lint roll because you can never have too many of these especially doing what I do you saw it and I was like oh 99 cents great I bought this candle because I actually wanted to burn a candle in this room but she was like it's just best if you don't burn a candle you know just to be safe because I think if the fire alarm goes off you get fined my trick the alarm system to thinking that i'm smoking and i'm pretty sure you get fined because it's like a let me show you guys it's kind of like a fire department 
fire alarm so it probably would like call the fire department and two other things i got this beautiful little coin a piggy bank i think this is so gorgeous like honestly i think it's so pretty and lastly i got an umbrella because it's gonna rain tomorrow and i forgot to bring an umbrella i probably talked about it before and i also talked about it in the vlog that i did but buying thrift store umbrellas is a great way to save money and you get like really good umbrellas so i bought this one it's not really my style because of the pattern but it is from gap and it looks brand new like the the umbrella cover is still nicely on it and everything nice little umbrella and i got this for it was only 2.99 and that's the same price we sell them for in the city it's like 2.99 for the small ones and i think like five for the big ones and then like you'll get a more expensive umbrella and it's still not be worth anything you get some nice umbrellas at the thrift store i highly recommend that uh, that is it for this goodwill haul guys from my trip to connecticut i hope you enjoyed it if you see anything that you like of course it's going to be in my ebay store so if you want to buy anything you can or send me an offer that's pretty much it i'm pretty happy with what i got today um, when I got to yesterday, was it, uh, it was like, uh. If you guys want to see that one as well, just to see what the Goodwill outlet in this area has to offer, then of course, leave me a comment down below and tell me that I should share it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm pretty happy with the stuff I found today at the Goodwill shop. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.